Namaste. I am Devraj, generally called as Yogi Devraj from my students. I am almost 60 years old. I came to yoga at the age of 45. Earlier I was working in a bank as a manager. Because of my own ill health, I came to yoga. But I found a lot of benefits in yoga. Then I thought, let me teach yoga for many people. Then I found out, I think life is not just living for the sake of food, shelter or doing something. I have to live for others. Then my guru told me, if you really want to do something, before that you should know your nation. Then he asked me to go on Padhyatra from one end to other, find out how the nation is. I started walking on 12th January 2006 from Kanyakumari, that's the southernmost tip of Kana, uh, India. I started alone. Then I came up to Bangalore from where two other people joined along with me. They came up to Delhi. So we reached Delhi on 14th of August, that's almost around uh, 3,000 kilometers, taking seven months, meeting a lot of people, especially addressing students in 600 schools, universities, and conducted around 40 press meets, covering nine states and 38 districts. Then in Delhi, I met a lot of great people like Dr. A.P. Abdul Kalamji, and I met uh, Mr. Vajpayee ji, Mr. Dwani ji, Dr. Manmohan Singh, then Prime Minister, like that, many great people who are present and ex-Prime Minister, President of India. Then I conveyed a message, by joining all the rivers in India, we can solve one problem of water, both because of flood as well as because of drought. So that is how my journey started into yoga. Then I came back, did my MSc, completed my MSc yoga. Then I started learning more about naturopathy along with yoga. Then I also did, conducted uh, national, uh, sorry, state level conference on yoga and naturopathy first in 2009. Then in 2010, we started Stop Diabetes Mellitus, a program of Government of India. Then 2012, we organized International Conference on Yoga and Naturopathy. 2013, International Conference on Yoga, Ayurveda and Spirituality. Then I started combining all the, whatever the knowledge given by my gurus, I made it as a package called Atma Darshan Yoga. That I started. I did some 15-20 uh, programs. Afterwards, I was invited by Singapore and Indonesia to do this program. But people could not understand that Atma Darshan Yoga, then the name was changed to Happy Family Yoga. Then now, I have been invited by one of the medical schools in West Indies to teach yoga for depression and anxiety. Yoga is basically derived from a word called Yuj, means to join. Joining means here we are joining the body with the mind, mind with the soul, soul with the supreme soul. That is how it works in different dimensions. That is why yoga is also called as a way of life. That is why all the lifestyle disorders are being controlled through yoga. Like, to be happy, we should keep our body healthy first. So it works at that level. That is for asanas. When we do some physical exercise like asanas, along with the breath, it keeps our body healthy. Next, we have to think of prana, which is maintaining this body. See, there is always a knowledge in yoga. Without a breath, there is no body. However, beautiful, handsome, everything is there. But if there is no breath, there is no body is useless. Then comes, it's not enough if you have just prana and the body. You should have mind also. Mind is the most important thing. Using the mind, we can control the body as well as the breath. So we have to keep the mind also healthy. For that, meditation is given. So calming down the mind. Here actually the definition of yoga comes which is given by Rishi Patanjali. Chitta vritti nirodaha yogaha. Chitta means the mind. Vritti means actions of mind. Nirodaha means controlling. That is yoga. Then it also works on intellect where we take a lot of rational decisions where it is good not only for himself, not only for the family, not only for the community, it can be for the nation and the international level also or a world level. I visited one family just now by, on the way to coming to this place in Houston. I stayed with them for two days. I found there was some problem in them. I asked them. They revealed everything. They were almost thinking of getting it diverse. I made them to sit face to face. 
I made them to tell everything on the face. What are the positive, what are the negative. Ask other person also to tell all positive and negative. Negative of himself and positive of the other person. They understood as if it was, a, you know, something happened to them then. They understood very closely the other person. They hugged each other. Now they are happy. That is why in yoga, we always declare that Vasudaiva Kutumbakam, which is said in Vedas also. That means the whole world is one family. The whole world is one family means we have to live like brothers and sisters, irrespective of the caste, creed, religion, language, nation, state and all that. Because basically man is living for others. That is what is said by Swami Vivekananda also. As long as we are living for others, yes we are living. Otherwise, almost we are dead. That is the meaning of yoga. Yoga actually works at different levels like karma yoga, selfless work without expecting any fruits if you work that's called karma yoga. When you work with body, breath and the mind it is called raja yoga or astanga yoga of Rishi Patanjali. And third is bhakti yoga, surrender everything to the Lord's feet and just be with that. It's not need not be Rama, Krishna, it could be Jesus, it could be anything, Allah. Still, it gives you a lot of satisfaction. That is the Bhakti Yoga. And the last one is Jnana Yoga. Using the intellect also, you can understand why I am like this. If you start with that question, it can give the answer why the world is also like this. So world is like that. So you be with whatever you are. Accept that. Be with that. That gives you a lot of satisfaction. And you can be of some use to others. Any baby just born has no religion. Religion is added as it grows. So that is given along with some customs and rituals, it makes a particular religion. Then some language is taught, it believes that that is his language or her language. So all these things are added afterwards. At the time of creation, there is nothing. And yoga believes in that. Go back to that state of mind where you are nothing. Or where you are transcending everything, going beyond your caste, creed, religion and everything. Where only peace is there. Only truth is there. Only bliss is there. Where you accept everything. When ego comes in, it is somebody. Because you are identifying as somebody. So that is why ego. If you give up that, you go beyond that, you are nobody. Or you are everybody. So that is the language of yoga which is taught right from immemorial days in India. Yoga always starts with a body. If you take body of any religious person or any religion, it's the same thing. It has to be kept perfect, healthy. That means you need to do some exercise. Instead of doing some exercise, do yoga asana so that you can add breath into it so that it becomes perfect. Supposing you are angry. Did you observe how the breath will be? It will be very fast. Right? That means lot of thoughts are coming continuously, hitting your mind. So what is to be done? Control the prana. Make it cool, calm, slow, long, continuous. Then what happens? It affects on the mind. Number of thoughts coming out of mind also becomes lesser and lesser and lesser. So once, if you do yogasana, you will be having pranayama along with that. Do you know at what point of time you are sleeping? Exact time? No. You just get into sleep. That's all. Meditation is also like that. When you are doing pranayama, at some moment you will be getting into meditation where nothing is known. You are something different. So when in that situation there are no thoughts, thoughts means again about an individual. It could be about a thing or about a religion or about an incident or could be anything. But when you go beyond that, there is no religion. When there is no religion, it's only the spirituality. At that level, yoga works. So yoga works for all religions at the same level. Acceptance. Accept as it is. That is the hallmark of yoga. Accept as it is. Whoever he is, she is. That's what Swami Vivekananda always used to tell. Supposing you are a Christian, be a good Christian. Follow your Ten Commandments. Follow the Bible. If you are a Muslim, follow your Quran. Holy Quran is always guiding you. Be according to that. So like that, everywhere, be a perfect human being, irrespective of whatever the religion you belong to. 
So then what happens? You will be improving your body, you will be improving your mind, always calmness, then there won't be any conflicts of religion at all. That is what the yoga tells. So that is why yoga is required for religious harmony. I got many examples, especially in Atma Darshana Yoga or Happy Family Yoga, whatever I am telling. We make all that group of 50-60 people as just one group, there no religion is asked. First thing. Second thing, irrespective of the age, this can be done by 8 years to 80 years. Anybody can do. Irrespective of the religion, language, they can come and do that. But once they get into a group, they understand the entire group. Then the whole batch becomes just one family. See, right from the day I left India, I was thinking that I had to do something with URI in USA. What are the objectives of URI and objectives of yoga? It was basically matching. The first thing is family. And the family is happy. Totally. No problem. Then what happens? They can contribute more for the society. Supposing their family is bad and they themselves are worried, they themselves are in depression, what they can contribute for the nation or contribute for the society? Nothing. So same thing with yoga also. Yoga is also doing to lessen the violence here in the whole world. Right? That is what yoga does. Then we organized one peace program or peace prayer calling all the people from all the community, all the religions locally. They, that was led by Dr. Abraham Karakam. Somehow I got impressed. Then I told him, how about taking up this in our center also. Then we started Atma Darshana Yoga CC in Bangalore. Taking minimum of four religions, people. But then we started it. Then in 2015, he end of 14 I think, or 15 beginning, he said there is a conference in Colombo, Sri Lanka about Holy Books Conference. There again I met lot of great leaders from different religions telling about this unity among all the religions or tolerance of all other religions. Then I thought okay I think given I have to do something, that is how I am here now. Somehow I wanted Yes, I have to come and I have to meet somebody so to get inspired myself to do more activities in URI in future.